Uh, my name is Martin Weiss Jr. I'm in from Bellevue, Nebraska. I'm 20 years old. I was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia at birth. Sickle cell disease is a beast. I don't think a lot of people realize or even know what this disease can do to the body. I have watched him suffer through it for 20 years. It's called sickle cell disease because the red cells look sickled, like they look like sickles instead of discs. And the reason is because the hemoglobin in them is faulty. So then when the red cells are circulating in a patient's body, they tend to stick together and they need to block blood vessels. And if they block blood vessels to vital organs, and they do, um, then they have the pain and they also have organ damage. I'd been doing blood transfusions and exchanges on a, um, at the very least, monthly basis for almost my entire life. I couldn't do a lot of the stuff that other kids my age did. So the average lifespan for a sickle cell disease patient, even now, after all the things we have available to treat them with, is still in the mid to late 40s. It's not been easy. He doesn't know life without sickle cell. Weekends spent in the hospital, holidays spent in the hospital, but um, just keeping up the faith. We are a family of faith and just believing that one day there's gonna be a cure and here we are. So right now, actually, I'm getting um, busulfan. Um, so it's uh, just IV, it's a form of chemotherapy. Um, and so the purpose of that is to kill all the sickle cells that are in my body. Um, so it attacks the bone marrow, so to speak. I have the cells that they collected from me last time we were here. And those cells have been edited and I'll be receiving those cells back. And they're basically going to uh, set up camp in my body and uh, go to work and do what they're supposed to do. And so it's really cool how the uh, research and technology has come along throughout these past 20 years to give us the opportunity to be able to pursue this cure. Martin is the first patient at Washu Medicine and the St. Louis Children's that went through this therapy. So to be able to offer it to more and more patients would be such a joy because when you tell them you can go do what you want um, is just life-changing for them. I think the hardest thing for me as a mom was watching him go through it and you feel helpless. You want to take the pain away from them, but there's really nothing you can do. You get, they have to go through that themselves. I think that was the, the hardest part, and being away from family was also another difficult part. He got depleted of all his cells, and then he had to grow back his platelets, he had to grow back his white cells. Even though the red cells were the target, he had to grow back all his blood cells again. And once they grew, he started healing. By the first month, he had healed enough and had enough white cells that he could leave the hospital. It was really amazing. All the nurses and the doctors, they actually lined up. They had confetti and they were cheering me on and clapping as I was leaving. Yeah, so it was really, it was just really cool to know um, that they are people who, who care about me and had a best interest in mind and that they are really excited to, to see me healed and ready to leave the hospital. Look at all the support and what it takes um, to get this done. So really thankful for the hospital, for the volunteers and excited for Martin uh, that he gets to experience a different life from now on. I'm a grateful mom today. Literally my entire life, we've, we've been on this journey together. Ever since I was diagnosed with it at birth, and whether that's finding, um, finding treatments or going to transfusions, exchanges, or staying in the, the ER, late nights, uh, overnight stays, inpatient, outpatient. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but she's been there with me through all of them. This kid is a fighter. His attitude towards everything he went through, I don't know if I would have responded the same way, to be honest. Watching everything that he had to endure, 
I think that speaks volumes to the person that he is and how he sees life. To me, this is like a second chance in life. And I've told Martin, go be somebody. Go make the most out of it.